Bokeh Tov, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. YouTube headquarters has been shot up by a very unhappy YouTuber, according to uh, the, the woman's family there that is a suspect in the shooting there. Three people at the YouTube headquarters in California have been uh, wounded as a result of this uh, young woman that is allegedly accused of shooting the place up and then turning the gun on herself. I'd like to play just a clip from Fox News and what they are reporting on this incident that came up on Twitter just the moments Lord, ago. Police now identifying the YouTube shooter as an armed activist with a vendetta against the company. Now, three people were shot before she turned the gun on herself. They identified a female in a white shirt. That's the one we have down uh, in the center of uh, the court area. She is the suspect. That's what we were told. It is a young man about. The police are trying to piece together more. Situation, though, as you look at this, you know, you can't help but wonder if this is not going to be another one of those situations for gun activists to go against the people with guns saying that, well, this one here has a vendetta and only more ammunition to disarm the nation. Makes me wonder whether or not some of these shootings are not uh, stage shootings. We'll have to wait and see how that goes down, but especially with it being on YouTube, no doubt it will certainly gain traction uh, as a hate crime at the very least uh, as we see, as we follow this to see what happens there. Moving on into other issues here too. President Donald Trump reiterates uh, his commitment. This was on uh, NBC News there, breaking President Trump says he wants the U.S. to get out of Syria and bring U.S. troops home. Let's listen to how he answers to this. They're inclined to pull the troops out. I want to get out. I want to bring our troops back home. I want to start rebuilding our nation. We will have, as of three months ago, $7 trillion in the Middle East over the last 17 years. We get nothing, nothing out of it. Nothing. And... As you look at this and we see what the president is saying here, and then we follow up with the Jerusalem Post, where will there be war in Israel this summer? The article here speaks about Hamas having 150,000 missiles and could overwhelm Israel's uh, air defense systems. And the article goes into the, to exactly how the nations will join together to come against Israel. They include, they include into this Russia, Hezbollah, Israel, excuse me, uh, Russia, Hezbollah, Iran and Syria, they're saying this. And what's really odd as you look at this, as we read in here what they're expecting of these nations to come against Israel, I could not help but think about how that, what, what is the real agenda here? As I've said many times before, they're going to stage a false millennial reign. But before they can stage a false millennial reign, they have to create a scenario that makes it look like biblical prophecy being fulfilled. But then again, maybe this is exactly what the prophets saw, such as Ezekiel uh, in 3839, and as we see in different other prophecies throughout the Bible, uh, Joel, Zechariah. These nations coming against Israel. Is it something that has been pre-planned? Or as the biblical saying goes in Ezekiel, the hooks in the jaws. And that's plural. That kind of reminds me of fishing if you think about it. It's not like the fish really intends on biting the bait on the hook. But once he's got the hook in there, who's the one that drags him into the war? Well, it's the guy on the other end of the fishing pole. And from what I can see, when we see this prophecy... It seems like Rome is working very diligently to set everything in order to drag all those nations against Israel to make that prophecy fulfill exactly the way they want it. So maybe Ezekiel actually saw a Roman Babylonian agenda where these nations would come against Israel. And the United States with President Trump pulling out, talking about wanting to rebuild America, that'll go right along with what everybody in America would like to see. But at the same token, it's also playing into the very hands of the Roman agenda that wants to bring all these nations against Israel in a war, force them into this war, dragging them with the hooks on their rod and reels, dragging them to Israel in order to fulfill the agenda that Rome would like to see happen so that what Rome and possibly Turkey could come in and say, well, the Mahdi and the Mashiach have now arrived and we're going to bring peace with a millennial reign and we're going to have a true Mekodeshit, a true marriage, a reconciliation. 
Maybe this is when the true Mashiach will show up. Maybe this is when the two witnesses actually show up to set the story straight. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.